Well, it's around day 50 of the third lockdown here in the UK. My hair's getting shaggier, my clothes are getting tighter. And Leon's getting larger. But one thing that never changes is just how amazing coloured vinyl is. Hey, welcome to another video from me, Tim Lee, Songs. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at some of my favourite coloured vinyl records. I hope you enjoy looking through my collection. Um, it's not a huge collection, but I do love these records and hoping to get some more, hopefully, in the future. So let's have a look. So first up, we have Blood and Chocolate by Elvis Costello and The Attractions. This is my most recent acquisition and was a total surprise to me when I got into it and discovered that it is a coloured vinyl. Let's have a look inside. And here we are. Beautiful white vinyl record there. And uh, apologies if you can hear the, the wind outside. It's uh, proper howling tonight. And unfortunately, I haven't got any <laughs> any uh, soundproofing. So, uh, But yeah, this is uh, the first, in, alphabetically anyway, but the most recent that I acquired. This is Elvis Costello. And the Attractions with Blood and Chocolate, one of my all-time favourite of their albums. Very visceral album, very angry album. And um, yeah, definitely worth uh, worth checking out this one. It's a shame it didn't come in either red or brown to go with the uh, the name of the album. But yeah, there we have it. There's the first one, Blood and Chocolate, Elvis Costello and the Attractions. Next up, we have one of my friend's bands, Don't Call Me Ishmael, with their album Saint Ishmael. Fantastic local band from Stoke-on-Trent. Definitely, you should check them out if you get chance. And... This one is absolutely glorious, gorgeous. Um, I would call it purple. I think they said it was uh, pink, but it might just be my eyesight. Um, but yeah, this is Don't Call Me Ishmael's glorious. <laughs> Sorry, this is quite hard, hard to do. Um, gloriously beautiful pinky purple album, uh, Saint Ishmael. And definitely one of my favorite colored vinyl discs next up is a record that i did a whole video about so i'll try and link it uh, above this is doctor who at uh, the tomb of the cyberman special edition that came out on um, record store day i think i bought it a year later though uh, for a slightly cheaper but this is a double colored vinyl record uh, the first of two i believe that i've got in my collection and it is a kind of translucent silver uh, for the Cybermen. So this actually fits with the, with the theme of it. See if I can hold it up to the light a bit. Don't know if you can see through that, but yeah, it is slightly translucent. There is a slight kind of smokiness to it. There's some, if you look closely, there's some uh, different shades going on there and ripples of, uh, of color. Um, this is probably my favorite doctor who story certainly of the classic era um and yeah um if you're a fan of doctor who and music then um go ahead and check out the video that i did all about that album next up we've got another one of my favorite local bands the king's pistol from northwich in cheshire near where to uh, near to near where to i live <laughs> and uh this one is amazing. Check this out. How amazing is this? I'm being very careful with these. I know I'm touching the. I will have some comments in the uh, in the comments section saying that I'm ha handling these incorrectly. I will give them a good clean next time I play them. I promise. Um, but yeah, this one's got like a splattering effect. Um, I haven't got many records. I think this might be the only one I've got actually that has this splattering effect. But yeah, it really works with that um exorcist <laughs> looking creature in the middle there uh this is a kind of 
if you think of a, a punk version of the doors that's how probably how i'd um talk about the king's pistol uh amazing band and uh yeah check them out too if you get a chance but yeah i love the i love the uh the splattering on here the sort of black and red splattering on there really adds to the sort of the horror feel of uh of the album evil spirits and the next one is also by the king's pistol this is rip it up uh i think this is their most recent album and on this one it came with lots of goodies but the album itself is a gloriously i'm going to be saying that a lot a gloriously green and black uh, vinyl colored record uh, let me see if you can see that a bit better if i hold it to the light can you see that there it's almost like a marbling effect absolutely gorgeous green and black i was i was very impressed when i when this one arrived and i saw that um green is probably my favorite color and uh that really suits suits the record the green and black there again making it very mysterious and uh and interesting this is another double album not one of my favorites by pink floyd i am a huge fan of um dark side of the moon sorry that took a while to think about um uh, this is a this is a good album as well the division bell and what i love about the about this album is you'll see there's like four different covers that you can you can see there so you've got the the first cover and then if you wanted to you could bend it round to be that cover that cover or this one which is a, a quite nice wooden looking one so yeah that's that's great but, um inside it carries on being very um aesthetically pleasing with a double sky blue record there's two of these and again very beautiful to look at slightly translucent so you can see through them there we are pink floyd's special edition of the division bell next up we have one of my all-time favorite albums and the first colored record that i got this is television with marky moon if you haven't heard this album it's a, a real kind of proto-punk alternative uh new york band absolutely brilliant from beginning to end and this one is another pearly white one there we go television marky moon the next one actually isn't a colored vinyl it's my one and only picture disc <laughs> it is no strings attached which is a brilliant barry gray orchestra album all the soundtracks to those great jerry anderson cartoons uh not cartoons what would you call them that marionettes aren't they um programs kids programs we've got uh one of the thunderbirds on the front there and on the back we have the whole family um featuring captain scarlet and the mistrons stingray and joe 90. now although this isn't a colored record i had to show it you because i love this record and it wouldn't really fit into any other video maybe i should do a video just about this at some point but yeah i absolutely love the um the music of barry gray i think his uh, themes are so evocative and, and yeah so fun to listen to so yeah it says there other side we have the main theme of the thunderbirds captain scarlet hijacked aqua marina uh one of the, the my first loves as a young kid <laughs> believe it or not um i was a strange kid uh and on this side we have stingray the mr mr ron's theme joe 90 parker well done <laughs> which is a great uh, a great track uh featuring uh lady penelope and uh parker there they are and i've i've learned recently as well just as a side note the reason why picture discs tend to have uh worse sound and this one definitely does it a, a pretty awful sound to be honest even though the the music makes up for it um is because they're almost done in a sandwich style i'll show you what i mean um yeah they're very they're they're basically three very thin uh acetate 
style um, pieces of vinyl that are sandwiched together with the picture in between the two. So uh, the actual bit with the grooves on is incredibly thin. And uh, yeah, that's why if you have a picture disc, I might be wrong here, but um, if you have a picture disc, they tend to sound um, pretty poor. And that's no exception. Next up, we have the final, the final one here. Before I go into a couple of other special ones, um, we have the Velvet Underground with their second album, White Light, White Heat. Uh, it would have been nice if this one was either white or black to go with the, the record, uh, to go with the theme of the record. But it actually is a pink smoky record. There we are with again like a, a kind of marbling effect um gorgeous to look at it's almost got i think it's got like glitter on it as well yeah it's very very uh unique this uh this record um i'm one off now from getting the full discography of the velvet underground i just need to get their uh self-titled third album um which is actually my favorite velvet, velvet underground album so looking forward to getting that in the in the future but yeah this is white light white heat their second album on colored vinyl and the last very strange one which i'm definitely thinking of doing a, a separate uh, a separate video for is this advert flexi disc from tizer in the uk um very very flexible sounds appalling when you put it on the <laughs> record player but yeah uh, if you look very closely there are grooves on there it's incredibly flexible it's like a piece of paper um but yeah this is uh, a tizer one which i'll i'll play you a little bit of now So yeah, that was the Tizer advert. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed a quick look through my collection of coloured vinyl records. If you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, please do subscribe, like and hit that bell for notifications of when I do my next vinyl videos. Thanks very much for watching and take care.